Hey guys, so I know over the next few weeks there's probably going to be a lot of really important and difficult conversations, and or at least I hope there are. And you know, for example, that it's 2016 and many gay men weren't able to donate blood to help their fallen brothers and sisters in Orlando, and how in a state like Florida, it's still legal to fire someone because they're LGBT or to deny them housing and how laws like that create an environment of homophobia or how even violence against LGBT nightclubs or individuals is not a recent phenomenon. So I hope those conversations will happen, but I think in the immediate here and now, a lot of us are just feeling really scared and you can't help but think of like the young boy who wants to paint his nails but now needs to think twice about it or the lesbian couple that wants to walk down the street but that they're afraid to hold hands or like the queer kid that was really excited to go to their first pride and now isn't sure if they want to go and it is scary and it shouldn't take you know an act of courage to express who you are but it does and there is risk involved but for me there's something that's even much greater of a risk. And uh, I've been out of the closet for like 15 years. And those 15 years have been incredible and amazing. And I recognize that every time I kiss my boyfriend or that I unabashedly express who I am or whenever any of us lives our lives openly, there is a certain amount of risk involved. But for me, the real risk would have been to stay in the closet and to not live my truth. And the funny thing is that when you do live your truth, not only is your life so much better, but you also help others find the strength to do the same. So yes, there is risk, but not as big of a risk as you spending your time on this planet without the world ever getting to know who you really are. So it's like, yes, find the balance of safety that works in your life, but also know that letting fear or someone else's narrow reality dictate your expression of truth isn't living at all. 